Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to show you how to automate another test case of register account functionality, which is none other than the test case number 16. Okay, so I am skipping the test case number 15, which I am going to do in the next uh, other coming sessions, next other coming sessions. Okay, this needs some setup from my side. So why to delay the stuff? So I'm just continuing with this test cases. While I continue with these test cases, uh, at one point of time, I'll, you know, automate this 15th test case uh, where you are going to learn a lot of stuff here related to database testing, Selenium Java automation using database testing. I know how to do it, but ultimately the problem here is uh, I need to set up one real application. Okay. I need to set up one real application where I have the access to the database of that particular application. So while I enter the details from the front end side of the application, Okay, I need to verify whether those same details got entered into the database, got saved into the database tables, okay, by running the SQL queries with the help of, you know, Selenium Java automation via JDBC, okay. All these things, I have the knowledge, but the only problem is the environment is not ready for me, okay. I need to set up this particular environment so that that will be possible, fine. So until that environment is possible for me, I'll continue with the next test cases, okay, without any delay. When the right time comes, I'm going to automate the 15th test case also later. Fine. So let's go with the next uh, test case. That is uh, test case number 16, where we need to verify the mandatory fields in the register account page are not acce uh, accepting only spaces. Okay. So you know that in the register account page, once you go to this uh, tutorialsinja.com slash demo, once you click on my account and select register option, here we have the mandatory fields like first name text box field, last name text box field, email text box field, telephone text box field, password text box field, password confirm text box field, right? Into all these mandatory fields, I am going to not enter any details. Rather, I am going to enter spaces like this. I just have to type one space. You see, I'm typing a space. Just click here and press the space bar. That's it. Click here, space bar. Click here space bar okay and select this s radio button privacy policy and click on the continue button here all the spaces got entered here and click on the continue button okay so here i should get this kind of warning messages guys in this in such kind of cases where i'm not entering the real details right i should get first name must be between one and 32 characters okay what if uh you know it's saying between one and i already gave one right uh it should be characters actually okay i'm just giving only space in that case it's not allowing me Okay, in that case, it's not allowing me to enter in a single spaces, empty spaces is not allowing me. Okay. Email address cannot be a space because it needs to be valid type. Okay. Telephone must be between three and 32 characters. That's okay. Fine. So spaces are not being, uh, you know, uh, recognized as characters. That's a very good thing. Okay. So application should not allow a end user to enter the spaces and create an account. So this is a good feature. Okay, the test case is working perfectly fine. I just need to verify the warning messages to confirm that, okay? So how to automate this, okay? To automate this, I'll just go to the location. Just give me a second. Okay, let me go to the workspace. Just forgot the location, that's okay. Let's select this. Launch. Okay. The Eclipse ID will launch with the required workspace where I'm going to automate this test case. Let me expand this and see where any project is there here. No project. Oh, it's kind of surprising. Right click, switch workspace, other. Browse this. Okay, I got it. What's the problem? I need to select this as a workspace. Okay. Uh, I was uh, selecting live this is a workspace guys under which we have this project okay i need to select the workspace path this is a workspace folder launch it now you'll get it i was uh, choosing the project folder as a workspace which uh, was not resulting me in displaying a project in the eclipse id now i selected the parent folder of that particular project which is nothing but a workspace location so now the eclipse id should launch with the project properly let's wait for the Eclipse ID to launch. And thereafter, I'm going to automate this particular test case. So it looks like uh, the Eclipse ID is still launching, guys. Let's wait for some more time. Let's wait for the Eclipse ID to launch. Let's go here. Okay. 
let's go here and uh, simply write down let's close this part close this console expand this project under src test java under the register sub package of the tutorials in the package i'm going to create the next uh, test case i'm not going to automate the 15th i told you the reasons right i need the environment to be set up till then i'm going not, not going to automate in upcoming sessions in one of the session i'm going to automate the 15th test case now i'm going to automate the 16th one okay let me say pc underscore rf underscore 016 instead of 015 i'm automating the 016 click on finish and now create a method here now inside this particular class create a method guys what is a method here what is the method I need to create? Verify the mandatory fields in the register account are not accepting only spaces. Very uh, public, public wide. Okay, public wide. Verify registering account with only spaces. With only spaces. Okay, here I'll write the code. That is web driver driver is equal to new. Chrome driver. Put a semicolon here. Control shift O. Then say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Then driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait. Then duration dot half seconds. Just give some three seconds. Then say driver dot get. Provide the application page URL. That is, this is application page URL, guys. Let me copy this, paste it here, and simply write down. Once I go to this application page URL, I just need to click on this my account drop menu. I need to click on this uh, my account drop menu and to go to the register account page, inspect this my account drop menu. Once I click on the my account drop menu, copy this my account and say control F double forward slash span text is equal to my account. Copy this XPath expression and write down driver dot find element by dot. XPath, provide the XPath expression of the my account drop menu and say dot click. It will click on the my account drop menu. Then I need to click on the select the register option. I have inspected the register option. It's a anchor tags and between the text is there. Copy this and simply write down driver dot find element by dot link text by dot link text by dot link text and simply say dot click. Simply say dot click. Put a semicolon here. This will select the register option, guys. Once I select this register option, then all these details will be available here. That is first name, last name, email, telephone, password, password, confirm. Okay, I need to inspect this first name field. I need to inspect this first name field. Copy this ID. Okay, copy this ID, guys. Copy this ID and simply write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator of the first name field and simply say dot send keys. And here enter the space only. Only space I need to enter. Okay, then I'll inspect this last name field. Here ID last name, copy this driver dot find element by dot ID provide the ID locator of the last name field and simply say dot send keys and here provide the space here put a semicolon then after entering the space here after entering the space here I am going to inspect this email field here ID locator of the email field is available and simply write down driver dot find element by dot ID provide the ID locator of the email field simply say dot send keys and just provide the space here okay put a semicolon after entering the space here in inspect this telephone field take the id locator of the telephone field come back here and simply write down driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the telephone field and simply say dot send keys and here put a semicolon and give a space okay into the telephone field also we have entered a blank space empty space one space okay inspect the password field here is the ID locator of the password field. Copy this and come back here and write down driver of find element by dot ID. Provide the ID, ID locator of the password field and say dot send keys and give a space here. Put a semicolon. After that is also done. After this password field space entering is also done. Then inspect this password confirm field. Copy the ID locator of the password confirm field. Come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator of the password confirm field and simply say dot send keys. And here also enter the blank space. Okay. Then after entering the blank space here, select the S radio button, inspect this. And here, name newsletter value is equal to one is there. Okay. Create an XPath expression for the double forward slash input at the rate. At the rate, name is equal to newsletter at the rate, value attribute is equal to one. This will select the S radio button. Okay. This will select the S radio button. 
uh, this will highlight the, or uh, locate the S radio button. I need to use that XPath expression, divided dot find element by dot XPath. Provide the XPath expression of the S radio button and simply say dot click. This will select the S radio button. Now I need to select the checkbox field. Inspect this. And here we have the name locator for the checkbox field. Copy this privacy policy checkbox field. Driver dot find element by dot name locator. Provide the name locator of the, uh, then say dot click. Okay. Once I click on this, it will select the privacy policy field. Then I need to click on the continue button. Inspect this. Okay. Inspect this. Copy this. Copy this. Control F double slash input at the rate, at the rate value is equal to Continue. Okay. Over the mouse on this and you see continue button is getting highlighted. Copy this XPath expression and simply write down driver dot find element by dot XPath. Provide the XPath expression of the continue button and simply say dot click. The moment you select click here by entering all the blank spaces into the, all the text fields in this particular account page, appropriate warning messages should be displayed. Okay. When I click on the continue button here, appropriate warning message should be displayed. This is expected first name warning message. Okay. Assume that this is what we got from the client requirement. String. First name warning. First name warning is called in the double quotes. Give that first name warning. Then select this part and inspect this. Copy this otherwise. Okay. And uh, this expected uh, as per the client requirements, expected thing is uh, uh, of the last name warning message is the same one that is actually coming on the screen. Okay. Assuming that copy this email address does not appear to be valid is also fine. String, string, email, warning email warning okay so in real time we'll get all these warning messages from the client as part of the requirements guys will not copy from the application for now assuming that all these messages are given by the client as part of the requirements uh, we are doing that stuff okay so all these expected uh, things okay we have to get it from the client as the requirements okay expected warning messages should come as a requirement from the client and password must be between also should come come from the client as the requirements okay password warning like this, give all these warning messages here, put a semicolon here and then write the assertions. Assert dot, assert equals, okay. And here, how many warning? One, two, three, four, five, right? I'll copy this five times. One, two, three, four, five. I need to verify five warning messages. Here in the first one, I'll give first name warning. In the second one, I'll give last name warning. In the third one, I'll give email warning. In the fourth one, I'll give telephone warning. In the fifth one, I'll give password warning. Okay, like this, I'll give different warning messages. And here I am going to write, select this part and uh, right click here and select inspect option. Once I inspect this option, copy this ID, <coughs> control F, double slash input, at the rate, ID is equal to give the ID locator and uh, say slash following hyphen sibling colon colon div. This will locate the warning message section of that field. Okay, and in between this particular tags, we, we have the required warning message that we have to retrieve it with the help of get text command. Driver dot find element by dot find element by dot xpath provide the xpath expression of that. Okay. And say dot get text. Okay. Get text like this. I need to write. Okay. Similarly, I need to write the same thing for the similar thing for the next one. That is select this part, inspect this and here, here ID. Input last name is there. Just replace his input first name in with input last name. Remaining all will be same. Locate this one. Copy this XPath expression and simply write down uh, driver dot find element find element by dot by dot XPath. Provide the XPath expression of the and say dot get text dot get text. That is also done. Then select this. Inspect this. And uh, here, take this ID, copy this ID, guys, and simply write down, sorry, not copy this ID and modify this XPath expression for the email. Copy this part, come back here and write down driver dot find element, find element by dot XPath, by dot XPath, provide the XPath expression and simply say dot get text. Okay. The next one. Take this telephone warning message, inspect this part, and this one, it has input telephone, uh, modify this XPath expression with that in input telephone ID in this XPath expression, and this is locating the telephone warning message. Copy this part, come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot XPath, give the XPath expression of that telephone warning message element and say dot get text. It will get the text between the tags. 
Then last one, that is a password related warning message, inspect this. And here, take this ID, modify this expire expression. And it is now locating this particular password related warning. Copy this password related warning and simply write down driver dot find element by dot xpath give the xpath expression of the password warning message element dot get text it will get the text between the things and then finally i have to say driver dot which driver dot which have to simply say driver dot quit like this we have to write the code guys and run the script here so i need to convert this method into the at the rate test okay test ng test method by adding at the rate test annotation over the mouse import this from test ng library now run the script Okay, so all is good. Is that a test from test ng only, right? I added. Okay, then what's the problem here? Just give me a second. I go here. Why these things are happening here? Right click here, run as. I'm not getting test ng plugin here. Okay, okay. I got it, guys. I got it. So what's the problem here is, uh, yesterday as part of another session, I have uninstalled Eclipse ID. Now Eclipse ID became again fresh. And uh, it doesn't have this uh, TestNG plugin installed now. Let me quickly install TestNG plugin, guys. Okay, this one, this you don't have to see, but uh, ultimately this was already explained as for the previous sessions. I'll do one thing. Uh, I'll just install the TestNG plugin quickly. Help. Okay, I just need to go something like this. If I have to install the TestNG plugin, I have to say TestNG Eclipse ID, Eclipse ID plugin. Okay, just search like this. <laughs> We have to go to the official website of TestNG, that is testng.org, testng Eclipse, click on that link and go to the plugin and here install from site. First, I need to select help install new software, help install new software, you'll get a dialogue here. Into this work with field, I need to copy this URL, I need to copy this particular URL guys and paste it here. Once I paste it here guys and say, if you are not getting anything, just press enter also, that's also fine if it is not getting. A loading is happening, I'll install this testng plugin guys. Select this and just click on next. The testing plugin will get installed and the Eclipse side will get restarted. After that, we'll get the options to run this particular testing test method. Okay. If in case in your Eclipse ID due to some XYZ reasons plugin, you know, uh, yesterday I was uninstalling Eclipse ID, installed it again, guys. That is the reason it has been lost because fresh version of it, Eclipse ID came. So I'll just pass this, guys, uh, pass this re recording and, uh, you know, and uh, continue once testing plugin is installed. Okay. Okay, guys, I have uh, successfully installed uh, TextNG plugin in my Eclipse ID, which was uh, missing because of my previous uninstallation and installation. Now you see the run option and everything came. Now right click here and say run as TextNG test to see whether this particular test case that we have automated is working fine or not. Let's see whether the test will pass or fail. If proper warning messages are coming when we enter the blank spaces into the mandatory fields in the register account page, then we are good to go. You see, passed. No failures, nothing got failed, everything got passed. So everything is working fine here. Okay, this is how we can automate the 16th test case. We have successfully automated the 16th test case, guys. Now let's move on with the 17th test case, okay? Okay, so let's go on with the next test case. So I'll explain this uh, next test case in the next session, guys, okay? For this session, this particular test case is more than enough, okay? In the next test case, I'm going to automate the next uh, test case for you, okay? automating the next test case. So till then, see you. Bye-bye.